everybody. It's Nate and Seth from Adventure in a Backpack. We decided to get out today uh, just north of Moab going to do a little mountain biking. So we haven't been on mountain bikes in, uh, in honestly probably a, not quite a year but uh, yeah it's, it's been, been a, a while. it's been a little while so uh, we decided to take the Monitor Merrimack Trail which is north of uh, North Moab about 13 miles. Uh, it's like a five and a half mile uh, loop. Uh, got about 627 foot of elevation gain and loss. Uh, yeah, so it's a little different riding up here, but uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go check it out. It's uh, right on the sandstone a little bit. So let's go. So all of the great riding around here is because of slick rock, but the term slick rock is quite misleading. The um, the rock is actually pretty grippy uh, and it's sandstone. So it kind of got its name, I read this the other day, it got its name because of uh, all the horse traders and cattle, uh, cattle drives are in this area, you know, back in the day kind of thing. And the horses had on metal horseshoes. And so it's not slippery for us bikers or, you know, hiking or, uh, ATV riding, jeeping, any of that kind of stuff. Jeeping? Jeeping. Yeah, jeeping. We'll roll the jeeping. Um, but yeah, it would be uh, totally slick if it were uh, metal horseshoes. So there, you learned something for the day. Slick rock is also pretty good for sun tanning, apparently. So if you're looking at this trail on a trail map, it's basically a big oval with one little shortcut through the middle. So the first uh, big opening you're going to come to is basically over this direction. And this is the shortcut that you come to. You're going to want to be looking for this formation up in the distance. The green trail actually goes all the way around that. And over here is, uh, is where all the fun downhill stuff is. All right, so we just got back to the trailhead from this bike ride. How was it? It was really awesome. I liked it. Yeah, definitely a good trail. What about the dinosaur bones? So there was a really cool little um, dinosaur bone, fossilized dinosaur bone nature walk at the very end of this trail. It was really cool, actually. Um, highly recommend you checking it out if you do this trail. Yeah, definitely pretty cool. So on this trail, be sure to go uh, clockwise. You'll know why when you do it. Uh, you'll thank me. And is also the uh, the upper loop is all the slick rock. Lower loop is pretty uh, pretty sandy. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, really our two our two tips for this one. Got anything else? Nope. I'm ready for a sandwich. Be sure to check us out on facebookcom slash adventure in a backpack as well as our website adventureinabackpack.com. Until next time, live, live vicariously. vicariously.